starting with Mr. Zimmer, I believe. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Minister, for coming today. Uh, we had uh, talked to the Minister of International Trade previously about a SAFA lumber agreement, and she gave us the impression that uh, negotiations were happening. And then uh, we saw this article uh, from Catherine. It was a Reuters article, May 16th, uh, and it was a quote from Catherine Tai, the U.S. Trade Representative. Uh, she told U.S. Senators that despite higher prices, the fundamental dispute remains, and this is between Canada and the U.S., and there have been no talks on a new lumber quota agreement. Uh, quote, in order to have an agreement and in order to have a negotiation, you need to have a partner. And thus far, Canadians have not expressed interest in engaging, Ty said. Uh, can you just speak to that, Minister? Are you aware uh I guess, whether there's a negotiation going on or not? Um, I, I will say, look, Minister Ng is very active on this file with her American counterparts right now, and, and we've consistently raised this issue. We raised it with the president directly. We've raised it with members of his cabinet. Um, U.S. duties on Canadian softwood lumber, they are unwarranted, they are unjustified, they are unfair, they hurt our workers, they hurt our forestry sector, and frankly, they hurt their sector as well. Uh, we, we are still pressing for a negotiated settlement. Uh, it's in the best interest of both our countries. The U.S. needs our softwood lumber. Uh, we supply roughly a quarter of what is consumed in the U.S. That's about, over, you know, it's over $8 billion. And, and the U.S. housing market continues to rise. The demand for softwood well, lumber is only going to increase as a result. Let me let me ask you this then to follow up on that minister, because I guess active is, uh, you know, is I guess we need to understand what that actually means because uh, it was a day after we saw that uh, Minister Ng, um, you know, a statement from Canada's trade ministry said, and this is also from writers the day after, that uh, said Ng also raised concerns about US trade policies, but the two agreed on the need to strengthen North America supply chains, we agree. Minister Ng reiterated, that it was in the best interest of both countries to reach an agreement on soft lumber. So I'm going to ask you a real blunt question. Mm -hmm. uh, are you as a government negotiating a new softwood lumber agreement? Yes or no? We, Minister Ng continues to work on this file. She uh, works on it with her American counterparts, obviously. Look, preserving a rules-based trade is essential. It's it's why we included an effective and transparent dispute re settlement uh, resolution I, I, mechanism I, I, in Chapter 10 for COSMA. The, this will just and be we'll, yes or no question. We will you, use, is it we will use whatever minister? we will use whatever tools we need to to defend Canada's forestry workers, particularly in the softwood lumber industry, uh, including through litigation under Chapter 19 of NAFTA, uh, including Chapter 10 of COSMA, uh, and including the World Trade Organization. Okay, thank you, Minister. I, I didn't get an answer there, but I think it, you know based on what my colleague before uh, had asked. Uh, uh, about Claire, me, no, so long. I can Claire, be blunt Claire, with you about this, though. Look, I think the U.S. I asked for a yes or no question, Minister, and you didn't give me a yes or no answer. So I, I give you the time again to do it. My time is short, so please, yes or no. The U.S. hasn't been willing. We are. Well, Minister uh, uh, Catherine Tai, the U.S. Trade Representative, says the exact opposite. She says that there needs to be. In order to have an agreement and in order to have a negotiation, you have to have a partner. And thus far, Canadians have not expressed interest, even in engaging minister. This is right from the U.S. Trade Representative. Well, this is from the Minister of Natural Resources. The U.S. has not been willing. We are. Well, based on what my colleague before, Mr. McLean, had talked about clarity of outcome. I think we're seeing with exorbitant uh, fluctuations and instability in, in our forest sector and really in forest and in lumber prices in North America, we see this, you know, after this uh, May 24th, uh, it's, a Nash, it's a Bloomberg News article. Uh, so after this supposed confidence that the minister is supposed to bring to the file, Commerce's International Trade Administration has calculated a preliminary duty of 18.32% but the current 899% rate remain, remains in place because its final uh, determination hasn't been made. Uh, we find significant increase, increase in today's preliminary rates doubling, Susan Yerkovich said, president of the BC Lumber Council. Uh, in, in particularly, it is particularly egregious given lumber prices are at a record high and demand is skyrocketing in the US as families across the country look to repair, remodel and build new homes. Our, our sector needs stability, Minister, and this this fluctuation uh, just shows that the, you know a softwood lumber agreement would be instrumental in in stabilizing the industry. 
And frankly, we just haven't seen movement. I mean, you're saying one thing, the U.S. Trade Representative is saying another. Uh, I'll just say it. I was just in Prince George and throughout my riding yesterday. They Mr. Zimmer, stability. can you ask a question? Yeah. I'll give him a brief time to answer because we're actually out of time now. But if you want to put the question to him, I'll allow him to answer. What are you doing to provide stability to the forest sector, Minister? We are seeking an agreement. The USA is not willing to reach an agreement. We are. But I would also say, Mr. Zimmer, uh, I hear you loud and clear on the frustration of your constituents and of your province. We share that frustration. Thank you, Thank Minister. You. Thanks.